Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All of the Games, this time with Illudum Dari 43, which had the theme Sacrifices Must Be Made. I'm playing all of the games that are entered on my spreadsheet, so if you'd like me to play your game, please enter it on the spreadsheet in the description, as opposed to emailing me or DMing me on Twitter or commenting on this video. That's how I'll play your game. There's already a lot of games entered on this spreadsheet, so it might take a while for me to get to it, but I'm playing the games that are entered on my spreadsheet in the order that they're on that. I'm playing each game for about a minute, uh, 10 per video. You can check out the games individually in the description and play them further. If you like this sort of content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Ludum Dare, especially the Christmas one, is very, very hard because it's a hard time of year. So feel free to support my content. You can also follow me on Twitter and check out various other social media platforms in the description. All right, let's play some games. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Next. We're playing New Warlock. WSD to move, arrow keys to shoot, spacebar to sacrifice, arrow keys to select. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, difficulty went up fast. Alright, so you have like a number of little minions in the middle. But why sacrifice them? Does that change our speed? Probably. We'll most likely die anyway. We got one more though. So we can sacrifice more, surely, if we got one more. Oh, but I feel like some just died. It's like those ones got in. I like how simple everything looks. It's like quite minimalistic, but it's done in a very nice way. Ends up looking clean. Sacrifice more of them. Like that one had a red thing around it when I sacrificed it. I hope that doesn't mean that's like a bad thing to sacrifice. Like we're dying. This is not good. Alright, next. We're playing Sorcerer Babies. The land of Shadow Fen has been overrun by goblin hordes. They've raised cities, sacked fan lands, and murdered countless people in their dormented bloodlust. Oh no. The town of Otsbury, sitting in the edge of Shadowfellon, has so far been spared their wrath. Well, that's good. But as the approaching army makes their way east, it won't remain that way for long. Oh dear. Uh, it was a morning like any other. You set out in town to grab some water, take a drink. You must, uh, you take a hearty swig before heading back to your house. Okay. A few hours later, you begin to feel odd. Get help. Before you can head for the local healer, you fall asleep. You wake and it's dusk. You try to move, but you feel heavier than before. Look around. You look down to see you're clearly heavily pregnant. But I'm single. A virgin birth. Some strange magic is clearly afoot. Clearly. Hearing you're awake, your brother rushes to your room. Panic. Don't panic, he says. The healer says he can fix it. You just have to rest. Panic. You panic until you're exhausted. You sleep again. You wake again, but it's morning, and you look down, and the pregnancy is gone. Panic. There's a faint cry coming from the other room. Investigate. Your brother's holding a newborn baby dressed in a wizard's hat. What the hell? Half of the town became pregnant yesterday, your brother says. They all birthed healthy babies this morning. Even the men? The baby hiccups and a bolt of magic flew from his hand and smashed the window. Shit. They're all sorcerers, he exclaimed. Amazing. A piercing scream filled the air. Goblin, someone yelled. The guards are dead. We need to do something. How many babies do we need to kill a goblin scouting party? Let's find out. Versus ten sorcerer babies. Enemies turn. Goblin one. Missed. Goblin two did six damage. Sorcerer. One sorcerer died. Babies attack. Uh, so they took some damage. The attacks have been repelled. We did it. The town is saved. But they'll be back and in greater numbers. This is a really funny game. Next. We're playing Auto Freeze 3000 C. Welcome, subject 104782, to the Giga Corp testing facility. You will be testing a top secret gadget the Auto Freeze 3000 C. Press space to continue. Oh, wait, that wasn't meant to read that bit. Our testing schedule is very important. Should any accident occur, we will replace you with the next subject. Recently, some subjects have been trying to escape. We can assure you, there is no hope. Okay, press spacebar to use it, our backpack. Ooh, oh dear. We have to use, like, old subjects. Oh no. Can we jump up to that one? No. Alright, so this is a lot of timing stuff. There we go. 
Nope. Alright. So far, so good. Doesn't have a death counter, so we can use as many, like, as we want. Alright. Oh, that's not right. That's why we'd use R. I was like, when would we use R? Um, nope. Oh, this is very tricky, but I quite like it. I quite like the idea. Ah, oh, no. Next. We're playing Ludum Dari the game. That time of year again. Alright, so I think that I'm going to choose the gem. So here I am, 72 hours. So let's game. Oh, wait, no, no, I need to code game. Yeah, then I need to code. Oh, I didn't make any progress. Code. Didn't make any progress. Code. Alright, I made some progress. Code. Let's, let's eat a bit. Game a little bit. Your phone suddenly rings. It's one of your friends. He wants to go out with you for a drink. You know that from experience it'll take two hours to wake you up from your drunken slumber. I'm busy, sorry. Busy, you're always busy. You know what? I'll get Billy and we're done. Out. But the game's important, right? Well, I didn't think my friend would be such a jerk, to be completely honest. We'll do some polish, maybe? I feel like sleep. Then code. 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 Motivation. We'll game. Oh, wait, my motivation's fine. I need to sleep. Your phone's suddenly rings. Hey, Sony, you're going to the family reunion. I'm going, Mom. Everyone, everyone's there and the atmosphere is great. Three hours pass in a flash uh, and soon you're all bidding each other goodbye. Okay, that's not that's not bad. I feel like I could have eaten there, like just saying. Polish. What does cut mean? Polish. Code. Code. This is going by really fast. Oh, I keep playing games instead of sleeping. I mean, we don't have a very good game, but we have a game, and that's all that matters, right? It's your girlfriend. You forgot a date today. Looking at the long numbers, it'll be two hours long. I won't be there. You, break your, you two break up over the phone. Why is it such extreme? Such an extreme. <laughs> Next. We're playing Journey. That's a nice splash screen. Or tail screen. New Journey is not going to be easy. Okay. Arrow keys to move. Space to jump. Fairly simple. So we can double jump. Shift. Cool. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I didn't really expect. Oh, that replenishes dashes. Yeah. Cool. I made it. I really like the background music as well. Nope. Yeah, it did get more challenging. I also feel like I'm a bit more impatient. Ugh. Yeah, I hit the wall. Oh, this is going to be a challenge because we basically have to dash. There we go. Yay. Next. We're playing Sacrifice. Destroy portals to stop the incoming enemies, then cleanse the temples from hearsay. Wait. Get the gun. This is a... Oh, these are bombs. Are you a bad thing? No, okay. Alright, that, that looks like a bad thing. Alright, so they do die in one hit. That's obviously a portal. Yep, reload faster. There's more portals, but we're gonna try to destroy this one. We're out of ammo. Alright, there's a lot of portals actually. Come closer. 
cool. Let's get back to this portal. How do we destroy it? I just kind of assumed we'd shoot it to death. But I'm- ah, oh, I'm dying. I'm, I wasn't sure if shooting it was actually helping, to be completely honest. Next. We're playing Expedabots. Um, help us start. Let's start, I guess. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Ooh, because the developer told me to. If we can jump, we've got movement, camera zoom, camera control. Wonderful. Well, come here, bots. Alright, so we've got walls, which means we can kind of grum like group them together and stuff. I kind of wanted you all to be in a line because it looks like you kind of need to be in a line for this bit. There you go. Well done, bots. Some of you are gonna die. That's okay though, it wasn't that many of you. Alright, how do we change the, the camera view? I wanna scroll out a bit. Not that very, okay. I like the ones on top. Oh, I didn't realize there were holes in this. Yeah, I should have looked through that much more. We don't have like a death counter to tell us how many have died. Oh no. Come on. I don't remember how to jump. Hey, okay. It's like that that one that's on the ground is too short, I think. Oh, it killed it. I didn't think the button would kill it. It's much easier with just one though, to be completely honest. But I feel like maybe the Oh, we get more. We get two, because one needs to go that way. This is quite good. Like, yes, sacrifices have to be made. Oh, they're not far enough apart. Oh, darn it. But, like, it's quite fun to try to do it. Next. We're playing JLIM. So we can change the palette. I love changing palettes. I quite like that blue. Oh, there's so many good ones here. Let's do this blue. Cool, because we can't, we can't. Ooh, whenever we hit the ground, we shoot. Okay. Sorry, human. Okay, we can actually kill the humans. I really thought we were gonna hit those spikes and just die. this way. Thank you, Key. Yep. Don't worry, we hit the spikes and died. And I went up instead of just going around, which I totally could have done. Nope. Okay. I like the places that it ends up restarting us at. They're good. I mean, a second key. How dare these enemies respawn? How do we go up there, though? We need to kill all of them because the door's locked. Alright, that one's gone. No. Next. We're playing Purgatory. Alright, sacrifice your souls for the gods. Sacrifice 666 souls to unlock a new area. Souls 400. Sacrifice your souls. We'll receive upgrades for every 300 sacrificed. Got it. Cool, so I guess we start at level 1. Press R to escape from arena. Alright, by sacrifice you mean definitely killing. So you wanna not move in a direct line because I feel like moving in a direct line means that you know, we're more likely to die. Cause sometimes our green orbs just get sick of us. It's so between 666. We're getting there. I feel like that's enough. So I feel like we can escape the arena. Sorry. Oh, we have to get in there. Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> I definitely needed to just press it in there. I was just kind of pressing it outside and pressing the wrong button when I was in there, so. We can also just hold down our mouse instead of me clicking so much. Which really speeds up the game. Oh, when you get hit, it goes down. Okay.
or okay, so then we unlocked this one. Right? Soul sacrifice souls. How do I sacrifice the souls? No 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 no. How do I sacrifice the souls? Oh wait here. Souls. So we have to have two hundred oh okay. Hmm. This is quite cool. Next. I'm playing for the will of gods. You are a good god who wants to protect people from bad gods, and to achieve that, you have to sacrifice some people. If bad gods are angry, they start to destroy your little civilization. You can stop them by destroying their doomstones and increasing the people's happiness. If the people are not happy, they will hurt you. After five hurts, the game is over. That's fine. Alright, so we've got our little sanctuary. We've got a human. That's cool. Here go, human. Oh, I think I sacrificed it. Oh, okay. I mean, God's rage goes down, but people aren't very happy with all of these sacrifices. I'm letting them out of their house, which I think is something that we're not meant to do. Because clicking on their houses really increases their rage. I don't know how to, like, I wish I had stuff to give them that was, like, less I'm killing off your people and more, like, have a fun toy. Does that make sense? But at the same time, it's like I have nothing. <laughs> All I can do is sacrifice you and keep the gods happy, but I can't sacrifice too many of you, so the gods will always be a bit unhappy. I like the graphic style, though. Next. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh 